My name's Tara, and I'm a 65-year-old retired college professor. I don't know anything about construction. So if I can convert a schoolie, anyone can. So let's see if I can. Here's my fancy plumbing diagram for the drains, although I may have to take out the check valve going into the tank because it just makes it too tall. I've got the structure in place. This thing's going to have to hang really low and that's disconcerting, so I may have to rethink some things. Here's the drain for the shower and here's the hose that will go to the gray water tank. Uh, the piece we had to connect this with this was too short uh, yesterday when we were working on it. And so I had to get more and as usual, I had to spend time at the hardware store. And in the meantime, it's cold. And so this pipe has stiffened into an awkward position. So what I have is a bowl of hot water that has some um, that has my pipe in it and then I've also got a water bottle full of hot water and I'm hoping that if I pour that through I'll be able to bend it in place and it'll all work so wish me luck what do you know it worked and the good news is now we know that the pipe drains it is so pretty out today really gorgeous but, as you can probably hear, I have a cold, so I'm not going to subject my daughter to that. So, we won't be working on the bus today. I still have a cold. But today it's going to get to 50 degrees, and then tomorrow it's going to get cold again. So I really feel like I need to get stuff done under the bus. Today, there's only a few tasks left to do. I'm hoping I can get those done and I'm hoping I can get those done by myself because I don't want to get anybody else sick. So that's the plan. We'll let you know how it goes. Unfortunately, the piece that I cut in half for the sides of this, it just isn't long enough in the front. So I'm going to have to take that out, put a new piece in, and then hopefully we can get all that done and then I can start hooking up, hooking up the pipes. The basic bracket is in that only took me a couple hours. I did find a good use for those textbooks again. They held it up for a while. It would have been easier to do this with two people, but it's done. I'm going to wrap some wire around it and then hopefully I'll get those pipes cut and in and we can feel good about it. It sits much lower than I hoped it would. I mean it's still a lot of clearance. But I'd hoped I could tuck it up under the bus but there's just no way that I would get the drainage that I need without having it this low. So there it is. I tried putting, putting metal tape on to hold this thing in, but it just couldn't get flat. So I got huge long zip ties, and that's how it's going to be. I'm running out of light for working under the bus. It's dark under there, and I can't see what I'm doing. So the rest is going to have to wait till tomorrow. It'll be colder, but there's not that much left to do, and I'm really grateful that I finally got the bracket in because that was the thing that was seriously a pain in the ass. And a couple more pain in the ass things to do, but mostly it should go be straightforward. But you know, I always say that and it rarely is. So whatever. Anyway, it's a beautiful sunset behind me, isn't it? I'm at the last connection. And I have enough room to make that connection good, actually. I just, it's just cold. So I have to keep pushing. This is a lot of work, but I'll get it on eventually. 
I am the proud owner of just about the oldest hair dryer in existence. I poured a whole lot of water, warm water, on this thing, and so far that's not making it budge, so I'm hoping a little hot air from the 70s will do it. Okay, step one of the process is done. I've got the pipes on and held with hose clamps. Now I have to get this very cold, very stiff pipe to somehow go in the right hole. So, I don't know. Wish me luck. Well, it's all together. The diciest part is this last connection here. I don't know how sturdy that'll be, but I'm gonna put some sealant on everything and hope for the best. My friend Lori suggested I use this stuff for sealing because it's gonna be good at low temperatures. So we're gonna give that a try. Okay, let me give you a tour of the finished system. So here, this is coming down from the shower and it goes around there behind the wheel and back to the tank. I rethought the use of zip ties. I was thinking about doing something else, but you know, the zip ties will be just fine and they're not gonna cut a hole in the pipe and I think it'll be fine. Um, if you have thoughts or comments about it, please put them in the comments because um, I always could use advice. All right, and then on the other side, we've got that the shower coming in from the left and then the sink coming down from the right, going down into a pipe that goes into this tank which has a, uh, which also has a, a check valve for a, a release valve. It's, it's pretty sturdy, wiggles a bit, but it's pretty sturdy. And I hope that works. The sink will for sure flush pretty easily. Um, the shower, there may end up water in the staying in the pipes a bit but it'll flush out when you have a shower and then there'll be a little bit left over and that's sort of the best we can do given the anatomy of the bus i can't believe this is finally done i finally have everything under the bus complete it's taken over a month one way or another, partly because I needed to figure things out and partly because everything was just harder. Like this last hose clamp I just put in took me half an hour to screw in just because it's hard. It's logistically hard. Um, but it's done now and I have no idea it may fall apart, but at least it's done. So we have now completed everything on the outside of the bus until spring when stuff needs to get painted. Yay!